An interesting and very disturbing article came out today somebody pointed me to, and I don't know if it's true or not, but this should make everybody very angry. Um, apparently there is a call to destroy Egypt's Great Pyramids. It says, according to several reports in the Arabic media, prominent Muslim clerics have begun to call for the demolition of Egypt's Great Pyramids, or in the words of Saudi Sheikh Ali bin, those symbols of paganism, which, by the way, folks, is where all of our religions come from, which Egypt's Salafi party has long with planned to cover with wax. So they want to destroy the pyramids in Egypt. This is destroying our history. This is what they have done to us forever. They have destroyed our history, and they have gotten rid of things that would help us in order to continue into the future. As I've said many times before, the reason that things grow successfully in the universe is because they follow the golden mean. And if anybody knows what that means, if you take a look at a Fibonacci sequence, it basically means that in order to understand where you're going to go in the future, you have to understand where you've been. To destroy something so ancient, so old, and full of so many mysteries and information is absolutely it is just unacceptable. Now, here I want to show you something, a discovery that I just uh, found. And, um, and I don't know if it has anything to do with any of this or not. Um, but I can guarantee you that people are waking up um, to the fact of some of the things that have been being put together lately. So let me show you what I found today. Now, just as a little bit of a history, uh, what I have been showing you is that in this whole time in history, all this stuff has to do with the mind. And so when you see down here and you take a look at the creation of Adam, you see he's not touching his fingers because this is representing a synapse. Okay? This Yahweh that you see right here in the middle of the Ark of the Covenant down here, this is the very center of the brain, the Ark, you know, where you have like an Ark of Electricity between one side and the other. That's what this is. It's the Ark of the Covenant, which is the Ark, the spark in the center of the brain. That's what that means. I've also showed you how the Orion Nebula is a larger mind, a mind, I believe, of our collective consciousness. And so what we have here, as I've shown you before, is you have the fornix surrounding the thalamus. The thalamus is the very center bright spot, which is also considered the heart of the soul, if you look up thalamus. For example, this is just one site. It says, in the normal person, the thalamus bears the task of filtering out the myriad of impulses flooding into our brain at any given moment. It is the gatekeeper that assures the messages are prioritized and regulated. It regulates consciousness. The thalamus has even been referred to as the center of our self-identity, or even called heart of the soul. Now, when you take a look right here, and I'm going to give you a larger diagram in a second, this bright spot, when you take a look at the creation of Adam by Michelangelo, that bright spot is pointing to the heart of what he's calling God. Here's a larger example. As you can see, here's the bright spot right here it corresponds to the heart of God. So if this is the thal thalamus, and this is God's heart, then this is the heart of the soul. Okay, so now recently you have seen that I have overlaid the Nile here, which used to be Lower Egypt, right? And I've overlaid this with the Orion Nebula. We already know this represents the thalamus, okay? And this is the, uh, the Nile right here. So I just decided to, hmm, I was like, I wonder. And sure enough, I was, I think I'm correct here. This is the Nile. This is the brain, uh, the nervous system right here. If you take a look at the Nile, and you can see that this is the spinal cord, okay? And they want to destroy the Great Pyramids, which is looks like it is sitting right on the border between uh, Lower Egypt and Upper Egypt. Now I don't know what the significance of that means, but I don't know if that's I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I have a funny feeling about it. But take a look at the brain right here. Okay, you can even see that the, it's almost 
a match of the Nile and what I've already shown you so far is that a brain compared to the Orion Nebula and the reptilian complex um, is basically the same. What we have here is a representation of the nervous system. So I haven't put all the pieces together as to what this means, but this correlation is definitely there. Why now do they want to, all of a sudden today, on July 10th, they want to start destroying the Great Pyramids, something that ties us to our past? Why would we want to destroy something based on religion? Folks, do you realize how unacceptable this is? To destroy our past and all of these important things that these Great Pyramids tell us about ourselves? That's completely unacceptable. But regardless, this is an excellent discovery. Once again, it, core, it basically shows the correlation between uh, the mind and all of this. And it also backs up you know, Leonardo da Vinci saying that uh, the human body is an analogy of the workings of the universe. So this area right here, which is the Eye of Ra, which is, the, which is Yahweh, the spark, the Ark of the Covenant between the left and the right side of the brain, all of this, is located in the center here. So we need to find out what's going on right here. And uh, I'm, I'm, you know, if anybody gets any updates on this whole just them destroying the pyramids or whatever, let me know. I'll leave that for you in the description area. Um, and I'll leave a uh, link to my uh, public photos. Y'all, please take this and share it around. Copy it to your hard drive, okay? Um, you know, this uh, all this stuff is just keeps falling into place more and more, and I would hate to see all this information go away for whatever reason. So please take some time just to go out to my um, Facebook, copy and download my photos that you have in my work album to your hard drive and save them. All right? You guys take care, and I'll talk to you soon.